The beginning of training camp has quite literally gotten underway for the Miami Dolphins but an absolute frenzy on what's going to happen with Tua Tungavailoa and Deshaun Watson boiled over yesterday. It started on Sunday with the news of Deshaun Watson expecting to show up to training camp. This was just the latest amount of gasoline to be thrown on the Watson to Miami rumors. It certainly seems that this caught the Houston Texans off guard a big because not even a day later this came out. When this happened, all of the Dolphins' Twitter and a decent part of just regular NFL Twitter started losing their collective minds. All the pro Watson stand and the two truthers ran after each other like it was Avengers and Thanos's army charging after each other. In the comment section, you can tell me which character is who. I understand that another blog, article about the most tiring situation that has ever hit the Dolphins outside of maybe Bullygate is probably the last thing you need. But I think I have reached my breaking with all of this stuff and it's far from over. We're not going to get any real information from any of the big wigs of the NFL information superhighway until if and when something goes down. I understand it might be fun to pontificate about what the dolphins are and should do but I'm just over it. It's like having that friend that just tells the same stories all the time. You know they don't go anywhere or have any real point to them and you just want nothing to do with them. With all these shenanigans continuing to transpire I just had a moment to reflect for a second. During that reflection, I came to the conclusion that no matter where Tua Tungavailoa is playing this coming season that he has the biggest chip on his shoulder heading into a season of any player of all time. I'm being somewhat hyperbolic here because there has to be someone I'm missing who had a bigger chip on their shoulder. But I honestly can't think of a player who had so many folks against him going into a season after playing so little as a rookie. I'll go down all the stuff that was going against Tunga Vailoa from last year, not like you haven't heard it all before. He didn't get to participate in a regular year due to COVID, a big chunk of the time that he did have was rehabbing instead of the little football activities he could, take that Herbert guys, three rookies on the offensive line, because of that offensive line the receivers could only get paper thin separation, and the receivers he did have were mostly a bunch of number four receivers at best. With all that, he went 6-3 as a starter, 5-3 if you don't want to count the game against the Raiders game. He did that while putting up decent stats. Not out of this world stats, but not Giovanni Carmazzi stats either. And all he gets for those 9 games, with all those reasons, not excuses there is a difference, is everyone and anyone calling for him to be basically kicked out of the world. He has a large number of fans that can't get it out of their head that Justin Herbert might be awesome for years to come. Guess what folks, both Tua and Herbert could be really good. It is has happened before where multiple quarterbacks have been good from the same draft. Tua has to hear day after day from the same talking heads talk about how he's the weak link and that the Dolphins need to move off from him because of how he didn't steal the show every week last year. Finally, you have his coach and the team he plays for not simply coming out and saying we're not trading for anybody and Tua is the guy for the upcoming season regardless of what you've heard. It makes all the little nuggets of information that Flores isn't all in on Tua and that he preferred Herbert from the get-go a little bit more probable. So Tua has to deal with all of that while he goes through his first real training camp. I'm not saying we should be drying our eyes because a professional athlete has to deal with some really annoying stuff as if we wouldn't switch lives with him and deal with what he's dealing with while also getting paid what he's getting paid. I'd switch immediately if I had the reality stone. But reality is often disappointing and that's sadly not the reality I live in. I'm saying it sucks that he has to deal with it and sucks for us to have to see each and every day. With the size of the biggest Dorito on Tua's shoulder, this 2021 season could be the ultimate stone-cold double bird of a season that anyone has ever put together. He has the opportunity to shut up so many people if goes out there hits the ground running and wins games. Will that happen? I don't know. I can't even tell you if he'll be on the team by the end of the week. All I can tell you is that I'm comfortable saying that Tua probably has had and continues to have to deal with most garbage from so many that I can recall. Have a happy first day of training camp, if you could.